we would like to start an exercise one. The title is How to Stop Alpha, Beta, Gamma Rays and Neutrons. It is generally said that alpha particles can be stopped by a piece of paper, beta rays can be stopped by an aluminum plate, gamma rays can be stopped by a lead block, neutrons can penetrate all of these materials. In this section, let's check whether they are correct or not, using FITS. In this section, we use range.inp. At first, we should check the input file. Incident particle is a photon with the energy distribution. The beam radius is 0.01 cm. A geometry consists of cylindrical aluminum shielding and a void. An aluminum target of thickness 0.1 cm and radius 5 cm is prepared here. We use T track tally for visualizing particle trajectories and T cross tally for calculating particle fluences behind the shielding. Using the T cross tally, error bars are plotted by setting EPS out equal to. We can see those figures from the track.eps and cross.eps of the output files. Next, we demonstrate a setting of source with energy distribution. The energy distribution is defined by E-type subsection. We should set as E-type equal 21 here. In this type, it is necessary to give number of energy bins, in E, lower boundary of each bin, MeV, and relative fluence in each energy bin, slash MeV, as parameters. In this sample, we set as in E equal 3, so 3 energy groups exist as shown in this figure. And lower boundary of each energy bin is number of in E plus 1, so number of the bin is 4. The relative fluences are given by a ratio of 1 to 3 to 1 as shown in this figure. Procedure for this exercise is as follow. Change the source to beta rays. Change the thickness of the aluminum shielding. Change the tallied region. Change the source to alpha rays. Change the target to a piece of paper. Change the source to gamma rays and the target to a lead block. Find an appropriate thickness of the lead block. Reduce the statistical uncertainty. Change the source to neutrons. Find an appropriate shielding material for neutrons. The input file for each procedure is prepared as range star.inp. Let's go on step 1 change source. At first, please change energy distribution according to table 1 and check cross.eps after step 1. Change parameters are shown in a sample file by red color. Next, please change from the photon to an electron, and check the track.eps on second page. You can see those sample figures. Let's go on step to change the thickness. In this step, we find an appropriate thickness of the aluminum plate, which can fully stop electrons by check by a 1 mm step. From this input file, the thickness is defined by a variable C1, so please change this value. This figure shows a calculated result of electron fluence at C1 equals 0.3 in the track.eps on second page. We can confirm that 3 mm is thick enough. Let's go on step 3 change tally region. In this step, 
let's see the fluent's distribution inside the target in more detail. At firstly, target thickness C1 should be 0.3 cm. Next, please change tally from minus C1 to plus C1 cm for X and Y directions and tally from 0 to C1 times 2 cm for Z direction. Change parameters are shown in this sample file by red color. Those figures in the track.eps show electron and photon fluences after the change. We can confirm that the electrons stopped close to the distal edge and the photons penetrated. We can see the photon penetration. Let's check the energy spectrum. We can check particle fluence behind the target from cross.eps as shown in this figure. From the result, you can find that photons with energies from 10 keV to 500 keV escape from the target. You can find the integrated fluence per source at hash sum over at the 70 line of cross.out as shown in the output sample. The result shows that 0.024 photons or incident electron escape from the aluminum plate. We can confirm that an aluminum plate, which is thick enough to stop beta ray, is not thick enough to stop secondary photons. Let's go on step 4 how about alpha particles. Please change the source to alpha particles emitted from polonium-210 decay. Particle type is defined by ProJ in a sample input file. Alpha particle is written as alpha. We use RI source function. This is E type equal 28. Please replace hash of energy bins, in E, by hash of isotopes, in I. We should define RI and its activity in Becquerel. Change parameters are shown in this sample file by red color. We can see fluence of alpha particles in third page of track.eps. Let's go on step 5 change geometry. At first, Please change the target to a piece of paper. A chemical formula of paper is C6H10O5, so please change a material section along red color. We assume that the paper has density equals 0.82 gram slash centimeter cubic and thickness equals 0.01 centimeter. Therefore, please change the density in cell section and change C1 in surface section along red color. We can see fluence of alpha particle as shown in this figure. We find that the particles stop at 0.005 cm and no secondary particles are generated. Let's go on step 6 how about gamma rays? At first, Please change the source to gamma rays at 0.662 MeV. We should use monoenergetic source, E0, instead of RI source, E type equal 28. And, change the target to a 1 cm lead, PB, block. The density is 11.34 gram slash centimeter cubic. From photon fluence of a left figure, we find that the target thickness is not enough. From energy spectra behind the target of a right figure, we find that most of source photons penetrate the target without reactions. Let's go on step 7 find an appropriate thickness. At first, please change the target thickness to decrease the direct penetration rate of photons down to 0.01. In this exercise, please check the 45th line from 0.6 MeV to 0.7 MeV in cross dot out. In case of 4.4 cm lead target, photon fluence is shown as this figure. A right figure shows a calculated results of energy spectrum of penetrated photon. 
From the output data of cross.out, we find that penetration rate is 0.009. The value is less than 0.01, but an error bar exceeds 0.01. We cannot judge to be reached less than 0.01 significantly statistically. Let's go on step 8. Consider statistical uncertainty. We should estimate a statistically significant shielding thickness that is a penetration rate less than 0.01 by changing max cas, max batch, batch dot out, istdiv, etc. We show a sample case of thickness equal 4.4 cm, max cas equal 2000, and max batch equal 1. Please see the 45th line in cross dot out. We find that statistical uncertainty is too large, the value is 23%. In case of thickness equal 4.2 cm, max CAS equal 2000 and max batch equal 32, we can confirm that the penetration rate is below 0.01 with statistical significance. Let's go on step 9. How about neutrons? Please change the source to neutron at 1.0 MeV and set max batch equal 3. From the calculated results of neutron fluence of the track.eps and energy spectra of the cross.eps, we can see 80% of neutrons penetrate the target without reactions. Let's go on step 10 shielding material for neutrons. At first, please change the target material and thickness in order to decrease the penetration rate of neutrons down to 0.01. We can judge neutron shielding from a value of hash sum over of 70th line in cross dot out. Next, please try various materials for the target and find out an appropriate shielding material for neutrons. We show some examples of calculated results. We can confirm that light nuclei are suitable for neutron shielding. In summary, common sense on the shielding profiles of alpha, beta, gamma rays and neutrons has been confirmed by FIT simulations. FITS is useful for particle transport simulation in a mixed radiation field owing to its applicability to various radiation types. Finally, we present a challenging homework. Let's design a shielding for high-energy neutrons, 100 MeV. Index for the effectiveness of shielding is not the fluence but the effective dose. Find the thinnest shielding that can reduce the doses by two order of magnitude. Combine two materials for the shielding. We show some of hints is this homework. Please try if you are interested. We show example of answer used answer 1.inp. We will finish this exercise.